Thanks for watching my video today. Let's discuss another uh, types of um, logarithmic integral. Okay, then it's integral from zero to one, log x upon one plus x dx, which is negative pi square over twelve. Okay. Now we know that. Okay, let i equal to integral from zero to one log x upon one plus x. Now we don't we know that from geometric progression gp. 1 upon 1 minus x is nothing but sum from n equal to 0 to infinity x to the n so we want to take this one okay plus so this is minus so in order to get this plus so 1 upon 1 plus x which is equal to 1 upon 1 minus minus x right minus minus become plus again so 1 minus some quantity is nothing but this one right then it's sum from n equal to 0 to infinity minus x to the n which is equal to sum from n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n, x to the n, okay? Now, let's come to our integral now. So, i is equal to integral from 0 to 1, log x, and this is nothing but we are going to replace by this one. So, which is sum from n equal 0 to infinity, minus 1 to the n, x to the n, dx, which is equal to, now interchanging, summation and integral sign, sum from n equal to 0 to infinity, and this minus 1 to the n is just like a constant, so you're coming out, Okay, minus 1 to the n, integral from 0 to 1, x to the n, log x, dx. This one, we are going to use uh, integration by part, okay. So, i is equal to sum from n equal to 0 to infinity, minus 1 to the n. So, this is, we treat it as second function. This is first function. So, first function times integration of second function. Then, this integration of x to the n is x to the n plus 1 upon n plus 1, minus integral from 0 to 1. Integration of this is x to the n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Differentiation of log x is 1 over x dx. Okay. Now, i is equal to sum from n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n. If you substitute 1, so log 1 is 0, right? Minus, if you substitute 0, so this is 0, so it will be 0. Minus, and n plus 1 is uh, constant, so it will come out 1 over n plus 1, integral from 0 to 1. Because of law of indices, we can do this one x to the n plus 1 minus 1, which is x to the n dx. Okay? Now, which is negative is common, so negative sum from n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n upon n plus 1, integral from 0 to 1 x to the n dx, which is minus sum from n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n upon n plus 1, and integration of x to the n is x to the n plus 1 upon n plus 1, which is from 0 to 1. So then is i is equal to negative sum from n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n upon n plus 1 whole square this and this okay n plus 1 whole square if you substitute 1 so 1 to the 1 to the any power is just 1 minus 0 to the power is also 0 so which is minus sum from n equal to 0, 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n upon n plus 1 whole square which is nothing but now this is this summation is start from n equal to 0 to infinity 0, right? This is n plus 1. So if you change back then, which is equal to negative, sum from, if I start from n equal to 1 to infinity, minus 1 to the n minus 1 upon n, plus, n square, okay? This will transform to this one. This two are just the same thing. So which is i equal to negative. And this summation is nothing but Dirichlet eta function, okay? Then it's eta of 2, which is eta of 2 is nothing but pi square over 12. So, our integral is 0 to 1 log x upon 1 plus x dx is negative pi square upon 12. So, then is the proof.